Uh, let's go ahead and add another virtual instrument. And this time, we're going to pick a different style of synthesizer. I'm going to use my quick key, F11, bring this back up. Now I'm going to go down under synths again, and let's grab the monologue. This is a great little synthesizer, and I'm going to need a new MIDI track in order to play this. Incidentally, you can toggle your virtual instrument by hitting your quick key, F11. It'll turn that virtual instrument list on or off. Um, I'm going to go up under Project, Add Track, MIDI. And on this particular track, we will assign it to the monologue. Oops. Now what I can do is just copy this information down, and we'll double up on it. Um, this will fatten up the track a little bit. And uh, so I'm going to hold down the Option key. I'm going to click on my region, and I'm going to drag it down. So I'm keeping the Option key held. That's the last thing I want to release. If I drag it down and I release the Option key first, it's actually just going to move the region. So now that I've made a duplicate, the same performance copied it's going to play the, both of those instruments together in what we call a layer. This is a great way to build up your sound to make it sound fuller and fatter. Next thing I'd like to do is... Uh, I think we should add a few more instruments. Let's build up this arrangement a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to add another LM7, but this time we're going to create, and we're going to use the acoustic sounding drums, which is kind of cool. And I'm a big fan of layering sounds like this. I'm also going to create uh, the Embracer. The Embracer is a really fantastic pad synthesizer, and we'll explore those as well. So I'm just going to close this, and let's go ahead and add a couple of tracks. So instead of just going down and adding one track, I'm going to go to Add Multiple. I'm going to say MIDI, two, that's fine. So there's two MIDI tracks. You'll notice it sort of slid them in. That was because uh, I had that first track selected. Um, that's fine. So on this one, I'm going to set this up to be the LM2, and this one is going to be the Embracer. So I'm going to copy this down, my drum sequence. Now, I'm going to get rid of the kick and the snare. Really what I want to do is utilize the hi-hats. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to switch to my drum editor, and I'm going to drop in, using this, on 16th notes, a little closed hi-hat run. So let's listen to what that sounds like. So I think we need to go through and adjust some of the velocities a little bit. Um, they sound a little bit machine-like, so I'm going to go through and just break them up a little bit. Uh, that's one of the cool, cooler tricks in terms of when you're programming drums. It's not so much about your timing. I mean, obviously, a live drummer is going to play with uh, slight timing anomalies, but really, it's all about your your velocities. That's where you can get you can you can program a drum machine to sound pretty realistic by changing out your velocity settings for it. <laughs> 